The Trade Union Congress is expressing grave concern about the water crisis in the nation's capital. TUC is calling on the landowners and the government to act responsibly and address this crisis once and for all thoroughly and immediately for the sake of business houses, schools and residents in the city. A lot of it was arise out of when water was uh, commercialized really, from NCDC to the, to, to the new joint venture. What you would find in the report specifically highlighted that landowners' concerns concern were not taken into consideration. So really the, the contract was flawed and the, the query initially started in 1996. And so these are not new. Uh, concerns raised by the land, landowners and the successive governments have failed to attend to, attend to their demands. Meantime, they are also querying the 50-50 management of PNG Power assets with a company called LR Group. The executives say there needs to be further discussions on this case before final instruments are signed to get this company on board. Critical assessments of the details of the deal must come out for citizens to do independent assessments of the whole transaction to give the approval for such important public utility to be offloaded partly from the people's balance sheet. Semakaras move especially during an election period in the eve of his retirement in politics raise serious questions about the government, particularly the real intentions apart from the justifications provided. Whatever uh, commitments and agreement that's being reached between the union, PNG, PNG Energy Workers Association and the government must be in black and white spelled out clearly the details so that uh, in future there is no further confusion, there is no, no further um, uh, problems arise out of that. The unions say government needs to seriously address these two concerns as electricity and water in particular is essential for the livelihood of the nation's capital and its surrounding communities. Bernadette Effie, National MTV News. Out of the 27 candidates contesting the seat, less than 10 candidates accepted the invitation to attend the debate today. Main issues the candidates were asked to talk on were land, settlement urbanization, Motu Koitabu, transport, water, and NCDC internal arrangements. Each candidate present was given 10 minutes to tell those present how he or she will address the issue if given the mandate. How would you prepare? Are we prepared for the benefits that are coming on shore? I don't think so. We're going to look back at the city. You know, the city, from the pressure of the energy projects that are coming on board, you can, you can already feel the suffocation that's happening. The roads are getting congested. congested. Goods and services are becoming more expensive. And you, I think all of you should know, not, know by now that this is also one reason this because of supply and demand. There is a big demand for land and yet a very, very small supply. And we need to open up this demand. So is only one. I want one for and that's to improve the living standards of every resident in property in Port Mosby. But for me to do that, I've got to, I've got to actually deal with a few issues. And one of the main issues I've got to deal with is land. There is no water in the settlements. I went into Kanubi yesterday, and there's a very big note saying, no water, no vote. Can you imagine? That hit me. And it's not only affecting, now it's affecting all of us because Koya has decided to shut down Kirinumu Dam. And I say thank you to the Koyaris because settlers have suffered for so long. 20, 25 years, they lived in settlements that have had no water supply. No illegal settlements means only one thing. Removing the tech settlements and bringing them to be part of this society, Port Mosby, part of our urban way of living. That is the only way forward. If we do not address that, 
Everything else does not fall into line. Water, power, roads don't flow in the air. They don't go underground. They are built on land, just like everything else. If you can get that right, you can get everything else correct. Apart from UPNG students were both domestic and international election observers. Most candidates blamed bad management, which has led to all social problems in the city. Meanwhile, polling for NCD is on the 26th of this month, which is next week, Tuesday. Michelle Amba, National MTV News. He still has an impact on people wherever he sets foot in the country. A rousing welcome was hosted for Sir Michael in Ley by the locals and CIPICs residing there. <laughs> Morbe Governor Luther Wenge told hundreds that the government is running the country illegally since August 2, 2011, following the vote of no confidence and a change in government, which sparked a continuous political fight over the legitimacy till today. Whatever they can say, that's what Mila Tomasem. Sir Michael Tomasumare is still the Prime Minister of this country. He is still the Prime Minister. Now, constitutional law, Emi Tomasem, 12 months before the election, 12 months before the election, you cannot elect a new Prime Minister. That is the constitutional law. Whether you like it or not, it's a constitutionally appointed Prime Minister. Yeah. Also present was now I MP Timothy Bonga, who supported Mr. Wenger's pronouncement, adding that the Constitution still stands and that Sir Michael is still the Prime Minister. Sir Michael, in his campaign walks around the country, continues to preach about the importance of the Constitution. He says this is the basis of PNG's democracy and well-being. Law it all same. Unless you got vacancy, that's all. Time you got room, you no got room. Prime Minister is not long in. Mas kaya misiko, emi one em Prime Minister yet long country. Think that you vote, vote long National Alliance, long Pango Party, National Party, People's Assembly. United Assembly, na People's First Party. Think him. I'm always like calling him. Blow me, blow me. My calling him blow. No good time you look at long post. You vote long Peter, Peter O'Neill, PNC. Me no sabe how. Money come a Prime Minister. Six plus member that's all belong in. Now when I'm a Prime Minister, me no sabe. Money must walk. Bela nama mi toki bela pinis. And money. And by go Calabusi, you will not waste some time of vote long party belong. You will vote long all good plan morobe. All good plan morobe by a clean plan name they stop. You know, cannot touch him name blow you by name no good belong and by come the personal skin blow you. And you know, like same long this plan. So Michael says he is still going to form the next government and put members of the current government behind bars for abusing the constitution. Bernadette Effie, National MTV News. On behalf of uh, my landowners of Kutubu PDL2 and Gobi landowners, I want to appeal to the government, the Southern Highlands Provincial Government, the National Government, Chief Secretary, and the, dep the responsible department heads to immediately pay outstanding for uh, landowner appointments, infrastructure development grants. It is not fair for the government to pay only our brothers for hella landowners and not for Gobi and Kudubu landowners. Why? Government must now come to settle this outstanding 21.3 million kina for infrastructure development grants for the landowners of Kudubu and Gobi. Why not pay? I want to appeal that government must settle these payments before the pulling. Like so I'm, um, the pulling. The national government 
Le dilemme des IGG fans, Infrastructure Development Grants, blonde nam gobe PDL3 and PDL4. Mibla sa olsem blog tari oriko pem pin lon tari na dam sekem karbigo ol pem here. So mibla wait olsem ba mibla kisim same time. Tazo something ko lose lon namel na mibla confuse. Usa department or one member or one uh, secretary but one of them dependent by, by Mibla. Uh, today Mibla asking Prime Minister loan come up clear loan Toga loan Mibla people blow Gobe, Erabe, Kigori district what's happening with the all the IDG money MOA funds and all the funds is tabu here why no all no come out clear now talk sab loan Mibla or some money is tabu or some more same now you blow by kissing on this little time this little guy talk to all no make him clear loan Mibla The HMPNGS Siedla is the third Pacific last patrol boat owned by the Papua New Guinea Defence Force. Siedla and its 22 men crew have been tasked to participate in the national elections, assisting with polling activities in West New Britain province. At the Tarangau Naval Base, formerly known as Lombrum in Manus, Captain of Siedla, Lieutenant Sebastian Maru, said a lot of effort has been put into preparing the vessel since January. Seattle is starts to cover and assist with the uh, polling activities in West New Britain province uh, in areas such as uh, Vitu and Bali Islands, Gloucester, Kandrian and Kasmata. So we have been preparing since January this year to attend to this task. So we have uh, put the ship through numerous maintenance activities to get it uh, operational, see what it was. And uh, all the crew have been looking forward to this. A minor worker program was conducted between Siedla and HMPNGS Rabal, which will assist in the western islands of Manus. They did the exercise to see if there were any areas that needed improvement. Another patrol boat will be on standby for any additional assistance that may be needed. The crew will be out in full Navy uniform for the operations. Commander Leo Kase from the PNGDF headquarters was at the patrol boat base to launch the engagement of the patrol boat fleet. He said they have to ensure that the maritime fleet has to cover outlined areas of the New Guinea Islands. My advice to you is conduct yourself 